Now let's try to discover Windows device. In this example, we are going to use the new UI. On the Devices page you can click on Add Devices. We are using Microsoft. Then we need to pick PowerShell. Then click on Select. We can create a new credential or select an existing credential. Let's create a new one for this video. Let's name it Windows PowerShell Encrypted and let's put it in here as 176. You can limit the credentials to be used by a specific organization. In this case we are going to limit it to system organization, but you can skip selecting an organization if you would like the credentials to be used across all organizations. You can adjust the credentials timeout. I would recommend setting it to 60,000 which is one minute, as some of the scripts may take some time. For the username I'm going to use administrator, password, hostname slash IP I would put percent %d. So that one is the IP in your discovery session. Or it can vary. If this credential can be reused on multiple devices, this will be an IP on those devices. For port we will do 5986. We don't use proxy. Active Directory IP will be 10.64.70.176, and the domain will be silotest.local. We'll save it and test. And here what you can do is you can select the credential test, which is PowerShell credential test. And we're going to use this collector. Since we are using all-in-one we have only one option in this drop-down and type in the IP address of the device to see if the credential works. Now click on Test Credentials. All right, everything is green. Let's quickly discuss this in more detail. Test Reachability checks if we can ping a device using ICMP. Test Port Availability checks if the port specified in the credentials is open when checked from the collector, in this case port 5986. Test name resolution checks if the IP of the device can be resolved to a fully qualified domain name, FQDN, and reverse resolution of FQDN to IP is also working. Test Kerberos will attempt to connect to the domain controller and will check to see if we can retrieve a Kerberos ticket for authentication. Test WinRM connection will check if to see we can use the Kerberos ticket and successfully connect to WinRM service on the IP slash hostname we selected in the test. Execute PowerShell commandlet tries to run a basic PowerShell command to see if WinRM service responds back with the result. So, we can close that. Now select the credential that we just created. Hit Next. And here we are going to discover that IP. 10.64.70.176 In System Org. All right, so now we have that device discovered. And go to Collections tab. You will notice that no apps are aligned to that device yet. So let's go to the Devices drop-down menu and select Device Manager. Go to this view, Logs tab. You will see that Started Detailed Discovery is kicked off. That means that we will use the PowerShell credentials and will go through all the applications that have a discovery condition defined. Let's go to System, Manage, Dynamic Applications. Search for Windows. You see the lightning bolts. So these are all applications that have discovery objects that we will check. We can see that some of the applications just got aligned. You can also hit the lightning bolt to check if the app needs to be aligned with any of the devices in the system. Let's hit the lightning bolt on the Windows Server Device Discovery app. This app discovers OS information for Microsoft, Windows Server Device Class Alignment, Run Book Automation to complete a device class alignment. Windows devices are initially discovered as ping ICMP because we don't know the version of the Windows Server. 
but as the dynamic app discovery runs, it should align more applications including the Windows Server Device Discovery app. Here are all applications that were automatically aligned. Here is the Device Discovery app. So after the Device Discovery app collects version information, the device class is updated. Here you can see that the Ping ICMP device class is now changed to Windows 2022. So here is how you discover a Windows device using a new UI. We have covered how to do discovery on the new UI, now let's go through discovery using the classic UI. First let's go and create a credential. We actually ship some template credentials. Here we have PowerShell example cred. Let's just modify that to have encrypted. A username will be PowerShell. Now let's adjust timeout. We'll use encrypted. We don't use proxy. That's the domain controller IP. That's our domain. And then we make sure that you hit save as button. Because you don't want to reuse the template credential. Now we save as and you can see your newly created credential here. You can also do the test here. So we will need to do PowerShell. This is the credential and against our device which is this one. And since we use all in one, we have only one collector. But if you have distributed, there will be multiple collectors. So when we hit run test, all of our tests are coming back as green. That's because we did our homework and tested all of that from the collector. So now we can go to discovery and create a discovery session. Here we can put IP. Here you need to make sure that you select your PowerShell credential. Now here's our credential. We need to make sure that Discovery non-SNMP is selected because it will be a pingable device. There's no SNMP running on this Windows device. And you can hit save here. Now if you close that, you see that there is a discovery session there. Hit the lightning bolt next to it. This discovery session will discover this device as pingable, since no SNMP agent is running. You see this is a pingable device. You can click on that and then get to the device. And you see the class is ICMP and pingable device class. If you go to logs, you can see that it started the detailed discovery session. That includes the app application alignment. So it's dynamic app discovery. Let's check which applications we have. These are the applications we have. The device class alignment is done based on this application that collects OS information. So any application on this page that has the lightning bolt has a discovery object. So to speed up device class alignment, let me click the lightning bolt on the Microsoft Windows Server Discovery app. This app will be checked first. Let's wait for a few minutes. It takes about 2 to 3 minutes to go through apps on this system. You see that the app was aligned. And when the app was aligned it triggered runbook automation that changed the device class to Windows Server 2022. If you go to the device itself, you will see that all the proper applications from the Windows Server Power Pack are automatically aligned. That's how the classic UI discovery works for Windows devices.